On drop rate is a series where I can only receive an item within its wiki stated rate, but with a twist. If I receive the item before or on its rate, I get to keep everything earned during the episode, including the desired item. However, if I do not end up getting it, I have to forfeit all the loot earned to you guys, the viewers. Let's introduce today's challenge. In the deepest parts of the wilderness, in a multi-combat area with very few ways of escaping PKers, you can find Scorpia. For how risky this boss is to defeat, the rewards historically has been very lackluster, looking something like this, averaging out to roughly 10,000 GP per kill. However, on February the 7th, the loot table was updated, essentially tripling its value, making the risk actually worth the rewards. So today, let's check out the new loot table and hunt up to 256 Scorpia with the goal of receiving an OD shard 3. When it comes to gearing for this grind, we're going with a prayer bonus heavy setup with 28 prayer bonus, as well as some magic boosting items like the occult necklace, imbued samurai cape, and tormented bracelet. And for weapon, as it is the wilderness, we are now using the accursed scepter. Because Scorpia is in a PvP area, I've also decided to bring a void waker to try to counter PK if one lower geared person attacks me. And even with all these valuable items, I'm only really risking 1.5 million if you also account for the ether in my accursed scepter, which is not too bad. At this point, you might be wondering, what is this lockpick doing in your inventory? Well, as a matter of fact, it's actually used as an escape. This is the Scorpia cave right here, and left of it, you can actually pick lock a door with this lockpick, and if the enemy peeker that attacks you does not have a lockpick, you can easily escape this way. There are magic axes inside of here, so you actually can't log out, but you can alter for the game, and eventually you get force logged out. But even making it this far is honestly kind of unlikely if a team attacks you, but if one person attacks me, that's definitely a different story. And PKs are definitely the hardest part of this grind, because actually killing Scorpia is probably one of the easiest things in the entire game. Make sure you drink your anti-poison, and then all you have to do is ice barrage the boss, and from here, with the Accursed Scepter you probably have enough damage to literally just AFK and kill the boss. And in this clip in the background, the minions didn't actually even spawn, so I had a very easy first kill. Just to show you guys the actual minions, when the boss is low HP, it spawns these Scorpius Guardians, and they actually spam heal the boss for 8 hit points. If I get some good hits in a row, I can just kill the boss like that, but normally you want to freeze them, kite the boss away from them, and then kill it. Normally for a grind like this, I would not be using Augury, as it drains a bunch of prayer and basically only gave accuracy before, and I don't really miss on Scorpia, but nowadays, they actually buffed it very recently to also give 4% magic strength, meaning it does actually increase my max hit as well, not only accuracy, so it is definitely worth it on this grind. 78 hit with the Accursed Scepter special attack, and that's in this gear. That's like the worst magic gear in the game. If I had full Ancestral and everything, I wonder how high I could actually hit with the Scepter. But it's not only the special attack absolutely slapping on this boss, this weapon makes this grind such a breeze. Last time I was here, I was using the Trident of the Swamp, which is quite a downgrade. But it was the best weapon I could use at the time, because the Accursed Scepter did not exist. It was called only the Thamron Scepter, and it was absolutely terrible. As we ice barrage the boss, these small scorpions you can see are attacking me. They do actually drop beginner clue scrolls, and they get cleaved down with the ice brush. They are a 1 in 100 drop, so we're probably not going to see a ton of them, but I do want to complete them for a beginner casket opening at the end. The boss also do drop hard clue scrolls, so we can maybe get some of those as well. Six Onyx Ball Tips, that is the new drop table at Working Wonders, and we have a PKer. And yeah, that's the first death of the grind, that's the risk of doing this boss. I think I'm actually going to be making one gear change, and that is swapping the Ring of Shadows for a Ring of Wealth imbued. When used in the wilderness, this ring actually doubles the chance of getting any clue scroll from basically every monster. Meaning hard clue scrolls from Scorpia will go from 1 in 100 to 1 in 50. And just like that, we got back the beginner that was snatched from our hands in an untimely manner. This time I do want to play it a bit more safe and actually save my clue scrolls, so after this KC 17 in 1 trip for some blighted anglerfish, I am going to go and bank. Let's have a look at the looting bag and see how much we made in 17 KC, it's going to be quite a decent amount, let's have a look. Almost 500k, that is so incredibly good for how bad it used to be. 
Oh, we got a Mystic Robe top. This is a good time to actually mention the one in 128 drop table. There are four items, Mystic Robe top and bottom, Dragon Scimitar and Dragon Two-Hander, which is completely all of them new on this table. Okay, we have another PK here. Let's see if I can actually escape this time. Oh, that's a bit- Yo, we max it! 52? Okay, good to know what my Void Waker spec max it is. Okay, we are unfrozen. Let's see if we can actually use this escape here, because I don't think I'll be able to kill this guy. We got it on first attempt. Please do not have a lock pick yourself. No, he definitely doesn't. Okay, nice. Yeah, so this is a great way of escaping, as you can see. Oh, and uh, I removed my Wilderness Sword from my inventory. Its only purpose was to slash this web, and I realized I have a Void Waker. A bit embarrassed to admit that. Okay, first clue scroll with a Rune Plate Blake drop as well. I guess the Ring of Wealth imbued is doing work that did not take that long to get. I actually went to bed after the last clip, and I'm now on a trip that I'm trying to do as long as possible to see how much money I can make on one single trip, because there's really no PKs on at this time. And if you do want to stay here for a very long time, the drops do enable it, because pretty much all of them are noted, just like this, so the looting bag doesn't really get full, all it's dependent on is your supplies. Even though it is very early in the morning, half a prayer potion is where I draw the line, it is now time to bank, but I think I did 33 kill count, let's have a look at the value of that. 1.2 million, and look how much space I still have left in the looting bag. If you bring way more prayer potions, you can actually stay here for basically an infinite amount of time. Even if you bring Alex, that's even crazier. But for that, you definitely want some teammates to defend you. If we can get some nice hits here, it's going to be kill number 100 for Scorpion. And as you can see on the value on the loot tracker, the 30k per kill estimate is extremely accurate. Okay, not quite 29.9k per kill. It doesn't really get much closer than that, but it seems to be very consistently 30k per kill. And we got it! We got the most valuable item on the entire Scorpia drop table, more than the Malediction and the Odium Shard value. 133k, Dragon 2-hander, achieved. Ooh, DJ Khaled is in the house, man. Another one. Oh, okay, let's go, Audium Shard 3, we finished it, 170kc, that's very low value, 83,000 GP. I don't know why it's so low value, honestly, because I don't think this boss is really camped that much, and the Odium Ward is not bad. This is the entirety of the loot we got from Scorpia, 5.43 million, and also, if you have a look at my collection log, that is now 9 Odiums to 9 Malediction, perfect lineup, and 25 Dragon 2-handers, looks so good on the collection log. And that should be the last beginner clue scroll casket done as well, so let's go ahead and open them all. We ended up getting four beginners and two hard caskets, so let's go ahead and start with the beginner caskets. And we have a unique item already. They are not very expensive, 12k, but let's keep going. See if we can get any more uniques, and no, we cannot. But let's head over to the hard casket, see if we can get any master from these or any uniques. Not too interesting. The Odium Shard 3 and the big items are now sold, let's go ahead and collect everything. And from that we made nearly 5 million GP. And I actually only spent like 2 hours doing Scorpia, but we did die once as well and lost nearly a million GP. But that still means I made around 2 million hour, which is actually really good, because back in the days, Scorpia was like 700k an hour, so quite a difference. But with that said, hope you all enjoyed it, like the video if you liked it, subscribe and all that good stuff, and until next time guys... Take care.